Hey guys, welcome to this product review slash modification of the Northwest Trail Innovations uh, Weld Together Kit for the 80 Series Land Cruiser. They do have it available for other applications, so go ahead and check their website as that is changing frequently. I believe he's uh, updating it with new uh, models. So anyways, uh, what I'm going to be doing is just giving you a brief overview and review of the Weld Together Kit for the 80 Series and then uh, if that's all you're really interested in, just this first portion of the video will be for you. And then if you want to do any modifications like I'm going to be showing you, then that'll be later on in the video. So go ahead and stick around for that. All right, so starting out, uh, basically, uh, this is a weld together kit. Everything is 3 sixteenths mild steel. Um, just comes with a bunch of pieces you can piece together. The reason that I went for this Northwest Trail Innovations kit is because uh, it's local here to the Pacific Northwest. His shop is out of uh, Corey, the owner of NWTI. His uh, shop is out, based out of Vancouver, so I like to support local as much as possible. Um, I was also looking at the 4x4 Labs um, uh, rear swing out bumper as well, which has a lower profile. This one is a little bit beefier, so and that is a problem with the 80 series, as all of you know, the departure angle is a little atrocious. But, you know, I've actually smacked this thing, came down on, you know, a few uh, rough parts of the trail, you know, rocks and stuff, and it's held up pretty well. So without further ado, I'll kind of show you what I've done to mine and how it would come regularly. So you have your latch here. Uh, which I've modified and I'll show you how I've done that. And this is just going to swing out. They do have the little pins, unfortunately mine is not working. So a single swing out is just going to come with one long arm here. I've cut mine in half and done the modifications that you'll see later. So it wouldn't come with a dual spindle, you'd have to order a dual spindle yourself. But anyways, like I said, everything's 316th, you'll have to weld it together yourself and do your own painting. Um, that haven't been said, what else here? Um, so yeah, you have your um, D-ring shackles, which is optional. I chose to go with the D-ring shackles and then also this um, ladder here. Now, as far as its functionality, I'm not quite sure. I don't really stuff on it. Um, I've obviously used it for uh, modification for a jerry can holder. Uh, that having been said, it does look pretty sturdy. Um, other modifications you can add, uh, are a high lift jack mount, which I did have welded onto here, and there's a base mounted, so there's two mounting points for it. Um, you'll see it later on in the video if you wanna see the modification, but I have taken that off because I am not a huge fan of high lift jacks. I actually like bottle jacks. What else here? Um, yeah, there is a spot here for your um, swing out lockout, which will lock depending on where you wanna weld it to the spindle. I had it locked about here. I don't have anything now, so it's just free flowing. Um, yeah, they're great spindles. You know, you just grease them and uh, they're great to go. Um, other than that, yeah, obviously it has this nice uh, plasma CNC cut here, outline of the NWTI logo. And that's about it, to be honest. Um, other things I did add are these uh, hoops on the side, which to be honest, don't really add that much protection, but um, it's a little bit of peace of mind. It doesn't even actually go past the reflector, but anyways uh without further ado we'll get into the modification of what i've done to add that jerry can holder which corey does actually sell on his website i just purchased it uh originally just wanting the single swing out but it was actually just kind of awkward to always have to swing out from here it's kind of ob obtrusive as far as the amount of length of the swing out um so i decided to change that and we'll get right into modifying it so if you guys remember i had bought in a cheap little $300 roof rack, steel roof rack off of Facebook Marketplace. And it worked good for the time being, but it wasn't really being used to its full potential. And I kind of cut it up and made my own roof rack to accommodate the Iron Man 4x4 awning, which you guys have seen. But now I'd like to integrate it into my rear swing out bumper. So what we're gonna be doing today is a little fabrication, a little welding, a little cutting and the addition of a second rear swing out spindle. So I have the spindle carrier. I'm going to be uh, drilling, cutting this off here and then drilling through. And there is a step on the other side you can't see, I'll show you in a minute. I'm welding that there and basically cutting the high lift jack mount off or the base off. And then having this be welded to here for this, the second swing out. What we're going to do is use the ends of our existing roof rack. All right, so I've ground out, ground off the block 
that was here. We're gonna go ahead and drill this out. Kind of just rudimentarily marked where I'm gonna drill. So we've got our hole cut and now we've got our spindle in there. But now that I have my hole drilled, I'm just making sure that I'm gonna be level and make sure that it's level before I tack it. Tack it in a few places, but first I have to make a reinforcement plate. So we've got the supporting plate mounted to the bumper, and then we've welded the actual spindle to that. So now all we have left to do is install the races on the actual spindle with the bearings, and then figure out how we're going to mount the the jerry can holder on top of it. I've got it all chalked up now, it's on, and I'm working on, I finished the cap plate on this, I'm working on finishing the welding on that. So I ended up just opting to pass through the whole bit of tubing here and just use a bolt and a washer. This kit that they sent me, like, it doesn't work. For the most part, it's put together. I'm gonna re-drill re these holes so it lines up better because I didn't actually, <laughs> these are not lining up. I didn't weld it right, but whatever. I'll get it all fixed tomorrow and weld up the holes. This is gonna go something like this. And then that'll, I'm pretty much just gonna weld that on there. After many hours of frustration and trips to Ace Hardware, I finally figured out a solution which basically just is these old bushings, which were part of the old roof rack feet, the ones that I didn't use. So those allow these to close up against the tailgate without making too much noise. I just used the pre-existing latch that I had. So there's no, there's no rattling really, cause these are, you know, rubber coated or whatever that is, polyurethane. Uh, be a temporary fix and then I'll order another one from Amazon. The spindle kit came from EMS off-road and the spindle is great and everything else is great but this latch is just I mean I think it's just terrible in my opinion. It works for certain applications but like it wants to like it wants to latch at like a four or at a 90 or something or I, I don't even like I saw a picture and it just doesn't make sense so in my opinion garbage. All right we are finally finished. So, things I need to do is add another brace here or something so I can secure it better. But they're not going anywhere, they're in there. A little flimsy, but I'll take care of that later. I'm not too worried about that. The main work is done. So, bada bing, bada boom. But there she is, guys. If you don't want to go through the pain of all this, just order the full thing and call it a day. Dual swing out, I mean. Something to be uh, said about doing things yourself, even though they might not be the right way, but you know, it's like art, I look at it, you know? When everything's perfect and it's machined and comes from a, you know, a company, that's cool, but like, I like doing it myself. Maybe it looks a little rough around the edges, but whatever, you know? If you have any questions, uh, just leave them down in the comments below. Um, I'll go ahead and link to this particular bumper that I bought um, from Northwest Trail Innovations down in the description. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because Ryan and I are going on a little camping trip on Sunday and I'll be uploading that on Tuesday. So stay tuned. Guys, I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for the audio quality. My mic is pretty much broke, so I'm waiting for a new one to come in. So thanks for bearing with me through all the clipping and the just terrible audio through this video. Um, I appreciate your views and your subscriptions. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you soon. Until then, I'll see you on the trails.